Hi guys, and we're going to play a game. So, today we're going to be playing, let's say, um, let's go Batman. What's happening? It's glitching. Hold on. Pause. I do not know what's happening, guys. So, um, freezing and glitching. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I we had an accident, so I, I I don't know what happened. I'll do it in a little bit. I was thinking that something might have happened to your game feed. No worries. Babies. Nachos. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, we changed plans. It's been like an hour. I'm using the phone right now. I'm going to touch the way right now. So sorry. Similar, and then you kind of break it down. Mm -hmm. 
So, and I'll leave this paperwork with you, obviously. You have, you have under contract, you have sold, and you have active. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the three categories. One would have been most attention to is sold because that's just the best predictor of future markets of what people are paying. So what this does is it, um, it kind of give uh, just an idea of the general market around there. So I'm a numbers guy. I'm not trying to go too much into these. Um, but so you can see between 100 and 150, there was three properties sold between 150 and up to 207, and between 2 and 250 with 19. So kind of the meat of the market is right there, or right there to be specific. Average days on the market, 87. That's about normal for property right now in Chicago, it's about 90 days. Um, under contract and active. Um, active, between 2 and 250, there's 10 properties in on the market, 132 days. You can kind of see that the stuff that sells oh, is going to sell under right. that three month right. mark. Right. The stuff that's still on the market and not selling is going to be a little longer than that. Okay. Um, okay. Because this movie's taking too long. long. Um, and you can see the number of sold, so just average sale price, um, average in on the market. So, and this is a <coughs> and we're, again, preparing three bed and two bed. In, in the Mount Rainbow area. Um, so three, you can see there's not been tons and tons of sales yeah. over the last, there was kind of a little bump there in March, uh -huh. and then the rest have been. Yeah. We're so, driving in the area, and there's quite a few homes for sale. Yeah, so we're just going to be super fast right around here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so that kind of the first predictor that, like, stuff's not flying off the shelf, yeah. so to speak. Certain neighborhoods they are, where a lot of neighborhoods they are. Yeah. Um, this is also, just to be kind of fully um, honest, yeah. from November to January is probably the slowest time of the year. So people are kind of with the holidays, they like, ah, the buyers are kind of like, oh, it's cold, it's rain, wet out, it's cold, right. snowing. However, a lot of people have the mentality of, I'll take my property off the market then and take a break, so yeah. inventory drops. Yeah. So it can be an advantage for well, the market. Well, we can play, and I can't play what you need. Um, Everyone knows that. And can also, uh, oh, you can have fewer buyers, but the buyers we typically have out there are so, only certain things. And then this is now um, we're doing just this. kind of a general Okay, um, tell me what, what's on the controller? So we're looking for the 13th. What's on the controller? This is what I'm looking for, what we're playing on. This is a new world, right? No. The property's a little yes. smaller. You're so like yeah. This is taking yeah. everything. This isn't just three bed, two bath. This is. Uh, so this is what my berry tree looks like. I grew. I grew oh, the yeah. berry tree right, Ashton? Uh, no. And, uh, this is well, show them where my house is. Oh, yeah, so, what you
a property should be selling within 90 days or, or something. Yeah, it's a nine yeah. dollar. So the rest of this packet is essentially... Have you sold in this area before? So I have not. Um, and wanna, I'll kind of walk you through what I've done. Okay. Um, and kind of, but yeah, no, that's a, a fantastic question. Um, so, to be honest, 100%. Yeah, what's the end of your mouth? Right? Down, further south than I've ever been. Um, <laughs> Maybe if we go super down and so get in. Destiny, we go and, to a different um, land. So they, I think, maybe you came across the website something yeah. or whatever. <coughs> so, um, wanted to meet you with you guys, but also kind of explain where I live and typically work and, and all of that. Okay. Um, so, well, so that's essentially kind of um, a good segue because the rest of this is just breaking down these that we looked at in the front side by side. So if you wanted to like look a little bit more at 34, 35, and 4, like the King Street, you can kind of break it down and side by side. Yeah. So, so, yeah. um, so I work for me, I work for Keller Williams until today. Um, and I'm in the middle of transferring brokers. So I'm partnering with a developer now. Um so like you can see like um I think where I think a lot of people are Um I am now literally today in the process of transitioning. Um I'm gonna be with Planet Properties. Um and kind of a developer, um, he does some very fun work with our community. Um, so to be honest, this may not be the best fit for each other, but it's going to be